citizens and protection of their families. In these uh, formal treaties, uh, all the countries that ratify them agree to a certain definition and the rights and claims of people covered by those conventions. So if we call them forced migrants or environmental migrants, would they have a claim to either being a refugee or a migrant? So these are some of the raging debates that I discovered when I was researching on this topic. Um, this, uh, the use of terms are debated because they constitute conceptual shifts from the usual understanding of red words like refugees and migrants. Um, IOM, as I mentioned, uses a, ver a very useful definition which means uh, persons or groups of persons who for compelling reasons or s of sudden or progressive changes in environment that adversely affect their lives or living conditions are obliged to leave their habitual homes or choose to do so either temporarily or permanently. Uh, some people, however, use the term also distressed migrants or disaster-induced migrants. Take your pick. There are so many of them, about 10 or 12. Uh, sometimes I'm very confused as well as to what uh, to use. Uh, these are large numbers of people who try to find safer places to have after a natural disaster. Uh, so such movements may either be permanent or temporary, as I said. Those who predict mass movements of people in the hundreds of thousands are sometimes referred to as alarmists. And those that you know wait a, wait a while, it's not going to be that scenario. You know, a little bit more reason, re reasonable and slow would be the cynical ones. So I don't know if I, I probably am in between. Climate change will undoubtedly contribute as a, one of the factors, increasing temporary displacement as well as long-term migration. Um, uh, people like Dr. Myers, who conducted studies, predict that there will be large-scale movements of people due to natural or human-made disasters. And uh, as Charles mentioned already, there would be the, the estimate that is often accepted is 200 million people by the year 2050 uh, which will be more than the number of migrants uh, that we are now, uh, that is uh, the official estimate uh, today. Um, prediction on rising sea levels may cause the mass movements of coastal populations after 2018. Um, due to the frequency and severity of natural disasters and environmental hazards now happening in most developing countries, Patterns of mobility of communities and even entire countries may drastically change. Um, um, this would be caused by massive shoreline erosion, coastal floodings, and severe drought. However, it is important to note that many factors aside from climate change, um, such as vulnerability, poverty, exposure, and capacity are important consideration analyzing migration decisions. That's um, when, when, when people migrate, it's not simply of a one, it's not simply born out of you know, a single cause. It may be a combination or a mix of causes. Uh, and one of them would be you know, the erosion of you know, livelihoods in a particular area over time. Um, most people, in any case, uh, migrate. Uh, internally, either to urban or other rural areas. There are what we call seasonal or circular out-migration, uh, which is a normal component of rural economies because it provides labor opportunities for unskilled migrants. So you'd have people in central Luzon, for example, coming from the Bicol region, uh, going to uh, Bulacan uh, during the planting and the harvesting season. And this is, you know, the norm normal course of, of events in an agricultural country like the Philippines. Uh, however, recent uh, migration developments uh, have seen aggressive recruitment agencies using middle persons, no? because it can either a woman or a man, uh, familiar in the community who travel in the provinces to convince parents to send children and young women to work in the big cities after each natural disaster. And many groups, such as Visayan Forum, have reported that in the aftermath of the Surigao Leyte floodings, there was a lot of commotion because children were roaming around the